Hey guys, so here's a little update on the tank, how it's doing. Obviously, you can see we have all sorts of little fishies inside. So I did get all the stocking that I wanted for this tank and it's pretty much done. It cannot hold anything else. And as expected, I got a whole bunch of tiny, tiny little fish and two main, let's say, bigger fish, which are not very big. There are two golden rams, which I really, really wanted to have. I never had golden rams and I love rams. They're my favorite fish, as some of you might know, because I told you before. And the aquarium itself is doing great. Yes, there are a few of those pesky greenish algae and diatoms, the, the brownish type, which are very, very normal and very frequent in the beginning stages. But I have to say I'm doing quite well in the algae department. I have had much worse startups. So it's going to take a little bit of time until the aquarium stabilizes fully. After the first month or two, it should start to stabilize and controlling algae should be much, much easier. So I think I'm pretty good with what I have so far. I do think I need to up a little bit my water changes, my partial water changes. This week I slacked a little bit. And I think I see a little bit too much green algae on the glass, but it's fine. So I will definitely do a water change today. What I wanted to point out or to show you are the wonderful dwarf rainbow fish. These are the Pseudomogil or Mogil Gertrude or Gertrude. I have no idea how people like to pronounce the names. I would pronounce it much differently in Romanian, obviously, but in English, I don't know. These have turned out not only to be wonderful fish to have, but also great dither fish. Now, if you don't know what those type of fish are, well, generally they are very courageous or very outgoing fish that like to swim a lot. They're always active and they're not shy generally. They work great in a combination with much shyer fish, such as the micro raspera galaxies that I have in this tank. Typically the galaxies can be rather shy fish, but if they see activity, tiny little fish swimming around all the time, not posing a threat to them, they can get encouraged not to hide all the time in the vegetation. They're encouraged to swim in the water column and they absolutely do that. They are great fish for those type of very, very shy fish. My galaxies are all over the place and sometimes they do swim with the rainbows. And this technique of combining very non-shy fish with very shy fish of similar, let's say, sizes works so well that I personally like to always combine them. I like to combine the Ember Tetras with something like this as well and the, um, what's their name, Chili Rasporas as well. I had a bunch of Chili Rasporas, never saw them until I put a bunch of other fish with them and they all started to come to the front of the tank and just swim together. I have never owned the dwarf rainbow fish before and I didn't know they were just so outgoing and so active all of the time, but I'm pleasantly surprised because my galaxies are also swimming with them and they're also very happy and very outgoing because of them. So yeah, if you're looking for a very, very tiny fish, very peaceful, not shy fish, one that will continuously swim in the aquarium and encourage other fish to swim with them. Well, there you have it. I think it's one of the best options, the Gertrude rainbow fish. I think it's pretty easy to find and you can already see I have some galaxies. They're not even afraid of me. They just swim and sometimes they swim together with the rainbow fish. And it's weird because I did see galaxies that you would never see them. They would always be in the vegetation. Not these guys. These guys, can we see that? They're all playing, playing, while well, swimming around the aquarium. So yeah, I cannot recommend these rainbow fish enough. They are absolutely amazing ditter fish. They're beautiful as they are. They're tiny, non-aggressive. They don't produce a lot of bio load. And they're perfect for smaller aquariums. I have a 21 gallon aquarium, so I would not put them in anything lower than maybe 15 gallon, 60 liters, something like that, because they swim a lot. But, you know, it's still a tiny tank if you think about it. And they're great for these smaller tanks. Alrighty, so that's what I wanted to show you. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll keep you up to date with my tank. And probably we're gonna do some new tanks soon because, yeah, I kind of got into a routine that really doesn't stress me much. And I love this tank. I really love my tanks. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Bye.